If you thought the only way to get a high-end smartphone with a keyboard was to buy a BlackBerry, well, you were right. Until now. From Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, I'm Mr. Mobile, and this, this is a little piece of the past come back to life. FX Tech is a tiny team based out of London devoted to bringing back what's missing from today's technology and making it better. As a guy who uses a BlackBerry every day, that speaks to me. Giving up physical keys for smartphones with bigger screens brought a lot of benefits, sure, but losing the tactility of typing was a trade-off not all of us were fond of. Like the old Nokia smartphones that inspired it, the Pro One tries to give us the best of both worlds a big 6-inch AMOLED screen, and a 5-row QWERTY keyboard, the two joined by an articulating hinge that deploys the display at 155 degrees. Designs like this got my attention as a college student over a decade ago, but after trying a few, I found that the landscape layout slowed me down because of the added distance between keys compared to a portrait-style Palm or BlackBerry. Well, FX Tech thought of that, and to combat it, it's clustered the letter keys in the center of the board. It's also been careful not to place the number row too close to the display, a common problem with some older designs that resulted in a cramped typing experience. It's clear a lot of thought went into this keyboard, and even using this early build, I'm impressed. Key travel is limited, but the feedback is a firm, consistent click on each key. Eventually, I'm told the Pro One will also bring features like app shortcuts, but fundamentally, this hardware is sound. Elsewhere, the makers have leveraged all the added volume that comes with this big casing. There's a headphone jack, side-firing stereo speakers, a fingerprint reader, even a two-stage camera button. For software, we've got a near-stock build of Android 9 with a small tweak to the launcher to keep widgets properly proportioned when switching orientations. For a company that started out building a Moto mod that never really came to pass, this is impressive progress. Now, you're going to find compromises anytime someone tries building a smartphone this specialized. At Full HD+, Plus, the display falls short of Super Sharp, and it's protected by older Gorilla Glass 3. The full aluminum backplate means there's no wireless charging, and the Snapdragon 835 at the heart of the phone is two generations old. That last pill is the toughest to swallow when you take a gander at the price tag, a cool $649 when the phone starts shipping in July. But then, FX Tech knows the same thing all keyboard phone makers know. They're offering something exceedingly rare, something that some people miss. Whether there are enough of those folks to make the Pro One a success is a question as open as all the others I have about camera quality, software responsiveness, battery life, questions that can only be answered in a full review. Let me know if you'd watch such a review by subscribing to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube, and if you already know you're buying one, well, pre-orders are live right now at FX Tech's website. Meanwhile, let's close out the last video of MWC with a nostalgia party. Tell me your favorite keyboard phone memory in the comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.